The B-Wing is the Rebel Alliance's heavy assault fighter, meant to replace their Y-Wing, which was kind of their older uh, heavy ordnance uh, platform. Uh, B-Wings, I've always liked the look of these uh, things. I think we saw them in action in Return of the Jedi in the, the big space battle above uh, Endor's moon. Um, one thing that I was always kind of confused about with the B-Wings is all the other Rebel starfighters, uh, the X-Wing, the A-Wing, the Y-Wing, I always assumed they were so named because they kind of resemble the letter in their name. But looking at the B-Wing, uh, I never saw a B in there. And I always kind of wondered why they didn't call it the T-Wing, because it's definitely got more of a T-shape. But anyways, moving past that, uh, today we're going to take a look at the B-Wing, uh, see if it uh, is something that you're going to want to add into your Rebel Army in the uh, X-Wing Miniatures game from Fantasy Flight. So we're going to start out, as always, by looking at the full maneuver options for the B-Wing. And as you can see, the B-Wing has, uh, compared to the other ships that we've looked at so far, more red maneuvers on its dial than anything else. Uh, it's not a very maneuverable ship, although it can make uh, very tight turns. The one distance tight turns, they're a red maneuver, but it can do them. It can also make the Coyogran turn, the U-turn maneuver, at a distance of two, which is nice. It's almost a straight turn around. It keeps it close to where it started uh, and closer to its targets. Uh, a lot of times is a good thing. Uh, it, it's a red maneuver to bank at a distance of three, and even if the B-Wing wants to fly straight for distance, it's going to be a red maneuver to do that. So you're going to want to be careful when you're flying a B-Wing. Um, you can see that uh, they just they're not meant to really be highly maneuverable all of the time you the way you want to play a b-wing is you want to follow your skirmishers into the action and kind of hang back line up your attack run and uh, get a good position and then make your attacks now moving on we're going to take a look at the four main stats for the b-wing these are the same across all four pilots that you get in this expansion uh, starting with the attack value of 3, which puts it in line with the X-Wing. That's the highest attack value on a Starfighter that we've seen in the game so far. Very solid there. Uh, B-Wing, not very maneuverable, as I said, and it's reflected in its agility value of 1. So the B-Wing is not going to be uh, canceling out very many hits against it. Uh, pretty susceptible to taking damage. It's got a standard uh, hull rating of 3. Uh, pretty similar to TIE Fighters and X-Wings and most of the other ships that we've seen in the game. But its big ability or big stat here is its shields, a 5 rating of shields, the highest that I've seen on a, a Starfighter. So this, this thing can really soak up some damage, it can ignore some crit hits until its shields are gone and it starts taking damage to its hull. Okay, moving on to the action bar. Uh, all of the B-Wings have the same three actions available. It's got focus and target lock, pretty, pretty standard uh, X-Wing type actions. Uh, definitely good when you have an attack of three uh, target lock, letting you reroll attack dice and focus, letting you change focus results to hits. It can uh, pile on damage with its primary weapon, which is nice. And then additionally, the first time we've seen this action on a Rebel fighter, the barrel roll, generally we've seen these on TIE fighters up to this point. It's a neat ability, and it lets the B-Wing tweak its move uh, to the left or right after it's made its maneuver. And for a ship that's not super maneuverable, this is a nice action to have. Uh, it's, it's especially good for a heavy, uh, heavy fighter like the B-Wing if you need to move slightly to line up a shot, uh, or if you need to get out of the firing range or fire arc of an enemy. Uh, it's kind of cool, so it's, it's good to see that. Now moving down to the uh, upgrade bar, uh, all of the B-Wings have uh, two, two torpedo upgrade slots and then they've got a cannon and then they've got this uh, radar dish upgrade icon. We're going to see that in uh, one of the upgrade cards that comes with the B-Wing and then a couple of them get the elite talent upgrade as well. So a lot of heavy firepower available to put on the B-Wing which is kind of its role in uh, the Rebel squads. Okay, so let's look at the best pilot, piloting skill of 8, 10 num. 
He uh, has a pretty cool ability when he's attacking. Uh, one of his crits cannot be canceled by defense dice. So uh, a very good offensive ability, although it's pretty situational. Crits have a low probability on the attack dice. So you need to get one before this ability can kick in. But he has 31 points. Next up we have uh, Ibtisam. He's a 6 piloting skill. And when he is attacking or defending, if he's got a stress token, he can reroll one die. That's pretty cool as well, although um, target lock will let him reroll all of his dice anyway. But still, it's always, uh, it's always good to have a reroll ability. And it's neat that it works when he's being attacked as well. Uh, so, but he's got to have stress on it, and as we saw on his maneuver dial um, on the B-Wing, uh, getting a stress token is not difficult with the B-Wings. With uh, They've got six different red maneuvers, so if you want to, you can pretty much always be flying stressed. Okay, next up is Dagger Squadron Pilot. This guy's got a four piloting skill, uh, as is typical with the generic pilots that we've seen. There's no special ability on this guy. Um... And then, of course, no elite talent like the uh, the unique pilots that we just looked at. 24 points for the Dagger Squadron pilot. And lastly for the pilots, a two-piloting skill, Blue Squadron pilot. And uh, he is 22 points. All right, so let's take a look at the upgrade cards that come with the B-Wing. Now, interestingly, there are no new elite talents in this expansion, even though a couple of the pilots can use them. So you're going to have to use elite talents that you've gotten from the core side or other expansions. But like I said, the B-Wing uh, has a couple of new upgrade types that at least I haven't seen before. Now, I'm doing these videos kind of out of order, and I'm talking about ships as I pick them up. So I'm not sure if there's other ships that have seen these. I'm pretty sure there probably have been in earlier waves, and I just don't have them yet. But anyways, we're going to start by looking at the fire control system, and this is that radar dish icon. And this is a, a really cool ability uh, that lets you keep target locks pretty much indefinitely as long as you're uh, making attacks. So when you, when you perform an attack, you can acquire a target lock on the defender. So that is, uh, that's a really cool ability. Two points for that one, and uh, highly, highly useful. You don't have to use an action to put your target lock out. You can do it when you make an attack, or after you make an attack, but it's out there, so very cool, and it's going to let you get target lock and focus up at the same time quicker, uh, which uh, are, is, a, is a great combo. If you have a target lock and focus, uh, that's the best chance you have to make as many hits possible out of your dice rolls. Okay, next up we've got this cannon upgrade, Ion Cannon, and this has that new the cannon uh, symbol there. Um, it is a uh, three attack secondary weapon. We've seen an ion turret before on the Y wings. This is a cannon, a uh, range of one to three. And uh, if it hits, it only does one damage, but then the defender gets an ion token. Uh, and ion tokens, of course, just kind of shut down the maneuver for the affected ship for one round on its next uh, maneuver phase. It's just going to drift forward a distance of one. So uh, ioning uh, a target is, is good because you're going to know exactly where it's going. You can set your ships up during your next maneuver phase to capitalize on that and hopefully uh, destroy it. Okay, and finally, uh, for the new types of upgrades, the Auto Blaster is a uh, three attack at a distance of one secondary weapon. Uh, and its uh, normal hit results can't be canceled by defense dice, but it does let the defender cancel crits before normal hits. And this is a this is a cool attack. Um, it really is because, uh, especially when you're dealing with a bunch of Tie fighters and their three agility rating, they're rolling three dice. Um, if they're in close and you use this weapon against them, uh, all they really have to cancel it out is uh, their special abilities or their evade tokens. So you've got a good chance of dealing more than the standard damage that you would do to a TIE Fighter with a 3 attack. So very cool, I can see this being used quite a bit. Okay, and then uh, we've got the 
standard proton torpedoes. We've seen this before in the base set. Always nice to have extras of these. This is a four attack, range of two to three. You need a target lock, and you can change a focus result to a crit on the proton torpedoes. So nice, solid, basic torpedo option uh, that we've seen before. Nothing super special here. But then we do have a new type of proton torpedoes, the advanced proton torpedoes. These are a very short range, range of one. Uh, require a target lock like standard proton torpedoes, but you roll five attack dice, uh, which is pretty amazing. And then uh, they also have a really great special rule here. You can change up to three blanks into focus. So when you fire these off, you want to make sure you have your focus token on your ship because it's a good combo. You combo your blanks into focuses, then you spend your focus to turn those into hits. And you can really maximize a lot of damage with this uh, torpedo. It's kind of costly at a, a cost of six to load this onto your ship, but I mean, if you can hit with it and uh, get a bunch of, of hits, you can you can take down just about any starfighter type ship in the game so far with a, a full five hits. Uh, so there you have it. That is the B-Wing Starfighter for X-Wing. And uh, I think that I'm happy that I picked one of these up. I think that they've got some very nice pilots. They've got some, some good upgrade abilities. Uh, pretty solid sort of a tank Starfighter. They can soak up a decent amount of damage and hopefully deal out a fair amount of damage as well. Uh, they're a little bit costly, but I think that they've got enough good stuff to justify running at least one in the squadron. I don't know if I'd take more than that, maybe maybe two tops um, for some, some heavy firepower. But uh, yeah, definitely a good ship to pick up if you're looking for something to add a, a little more heavy firepower into your Rebel squads. Uh, the B-Wing is the way to go for sure.